Debbie, Carrie, and the others associated with the America for All web-based news podcast now have a discussion about the new danger posed by the transformation of the faithful remnant into a direct threat to the rest of American society. Reports are coming out of armed militia groups assembling in many states, including Texas. I'm really worried we are heading towards another civil war. Well, of course. Why do you think the NRA and others in the gun lobby oppose even the most reasonable efforts at gun control? It's because they want the bigoted extremists to be able to launch a rebellion to destroy the rest of us. Laura and Suzanne in Los Angeles, what do you think? Having been raised in that kind of extremist environment, including having a father who was bigoted enough to both hate me and to become a criminal, I now consider it a blessing to be lesbian. I was forced to humble myself and look for real love instead of just being content with my Christian-based privilege in life. Would I have been just as horrible as my father and as the members of the faithful remnant? The very idea makes me want to vomit now. I grew up in the exact same religious environment as Laura, and I am straight, but I didn't turn out bigoted. And I was raised Pentecostal, which is even more cult-like than most Baptists, but I also changed as I grew up. I actually read most of the Bible for myself because I wanted to be the best Christian I could be. And I realized that to be like Jesus, I had to reject conservatism among Christians just as he rejected conservatism among Jews. What Reverend Dave Owen had taught me in church were lies. Once I came to see atheists and LGBT people like Debbie and Carrie as fellow human beings, I saw I had no reason to hate them. Nicholas Owen now gives a speech to the militia forces of the faithful remnant gathered in Idaho. My fellow Americans, for most of you, even while free, you have watched in horror as your tax dollars have been taken from you by a greedy federal government and then largely given away to special interests, including welfare payments to lazy homeless bumps and illegal aliens, as well as to various countries in an attempt to buy their loyalty. But they don't give a damn about the hardworking, loyal, white, English-speaking Christian Americans that have always been here. These violations of our dignity must end. We must always come first. As President of the Faithful Remnant, I will lead us to victory. I and others in my planning committee have agreed to launch an attack on the city of Austin, the capital of Texas. Once we capture that city, I will install Ted Anderson as the new President of an Independent Republic of Texas, and then we will look forward to conquering other states until finally we capture Washington, D.C. We will crush the subversive forces making America woke and instead make it a superpower the rest of the world will respect and fear from then on. The Lord is surely on our side, for we act in His name. With Him behind us, who can stand against us? Amen. But not everyone at the meeting is happy about what is happening. Including Don Dacron the former oil company executive who was imprisoned for his corrupt actions in business. This is certainly not what I signed up for. I am a businessman above all else and I don't care who I do business with, whether Christian or atheist, white or black, or what country he comes from, as long as my dealings are profitable. Those idiots will ruin my chances of becoming a billionaire. Don Dacron, come with us. Soon you will have your chance to get revenge on the ones who locked you up. I'm coming. The faithful remnant has established a base of operations in Idaho and is preparing to attack Austin, and then take over Texas. When will this attack be? About a week from now. And why would someone as corrupt as Mr. Dacron want to rat out the faithful remnant? First, people can change. Maybe his being locked up in prison really taught him a lesson. Second, even a greedy bastard like him would understand that a war is not good for business, due to the massive death and destruction it causes. Now that we know what is going to happen, we must alert the state and federal authorities. That will ensure there will be only one battle in this civil war. A battle the enemy will lose. A couple of days later, at an army base near the Texas border with Louisiana. Private Watson we just received new orders from the Pentagon. We are to mobilize our forces and go to Austin. Apparently the city is about to be attacked by a militia of crazed extremists. Let me guess. That so-called faithful remnant I've heard so much about? That's right. So let's get moving. Soon you will have your chance to prove yourself in combat. I won't be surprised, however, if you turn coward and run away. 
and then I'd have you sent back to prison. You underestimate me, Sergeant. I am actually eager to take on those self-righteous bastards and help crush them.